Lee, good run of form going into Christmas. It's four undefeated in all competitions. Are you confident that can continue given the fixtures you've got coming up as well? Um, everyone goes on about the fixtures. Every game's difficult. We keep, I keep saying it, you know, whenever I do the press. Whoever you're playing, I mean, you look at the bottom two. They both won on Saturday. You know, Macclesfield had a good win in Notts County, and that's the league. You, it, as you've seen in the last couple of weeks yourself, we could have lost Saturday and we could have lost to Morgan easily. Uh, we've managed to, you know, get two points out of them games. We could have come away with zero. Or we could have came away with three maybe on Saturday, but Cheltenham would most probably say the same thing. So, like you say, if the team played to their potential, we've got a chance against anybody. If they don't, then more likely is we, you know, we're going to lose or draw a game. When you say that's the league, if you look at the league for you, seven or eight points of the playoffs, similar gap to towards the drop zone, is that fair to reflect your season so far? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, I think... Um, there's improvements from last season um, since we've come in. They, they, like I said before, they're going to be slow. You're always trying to improve the squad. Uh, you know, sometimes we've, we've played different shapes already this season. Some have worked, some haven't. Um, but I see the league as as it is. Like you've said, there's maybe you'd say three or four teams you know are going to be at the top. You'd expect them to be up there come the end of the season, and then the rest. I think you know. There'll be teams you can think they can get in the playoffs and others who will think, well, mid-table will be a good season for them. So um, we don't get carried away. It's, like I say, it is week to week, game to game, because you know the performances are, can be hit and miss. You'll no doubt need your squad going into a, a busy period, but people are asking about where David Worrell is, where Ricky Miller is, why Ben Whitfield isn't coming on. What can you tell us about the kind of absence of those players, if you will? Well, they've all had a run in the team. Um, and you know we, we go off training as well what we see in training and but the, the crux of it is if you're doing really well you stay in the team if you're not you're sort of in and out and it's uh, nothing to do with um, it's not personal we're just trying to pick 11 players we've got 20 odd so it's always difficult and everybody's fit so um, you know They've got chances over the next, hopefully, two or three weeks to stake a claim for a place in the squad or in the start and 11. Um, but that'll, that'll be up to them and how we play in the, the next few weeks. Knowing some of those as individuals, though, they obviously want to play. How hard is it to keep players who aren't playing happy? We've all been there. When you're not playing, you, you know, you're not happy, but you just get your head down. You train hard. You've got to have a good attitude. Um, and then if it's ongoing, then, you know, I'm sure players will go and see the manager and express his feelings on that we've all done it there's no personal issues it's you know we'll do what right what's right for the player and the club um, at the end of the day I think Neil's already said if players don't want to be here you know that that's fine never personal they want to move on that's the nature of the game and looking at the next game Mac you must be looking forward to that one big following yeah no it should I mean like you say if Sol Campbell's gone in and he's you know high profile he started off uh, quite well, so um, they're picking up results. So it's um, you know they they'll be confident after last week's win. But like I said to you previously, if if we we're at our best, you know we, we're more than capable of winning the game. Good one.